channel if you are a new baby hit that subscribe button because you're gonna want to stay i just i'm telling you just trust me go with me here go with me here. if you're returning hey besties it's so good to see you guys again so as you can already tell by today's title we are getting into a what i eat in a week this week is going to be a little bit different because i'm actually out of town on friday so i'm only going to be showing you what i'm eating from monday to thursday i actually had to re-record this intro after the fact because i had some changes in my diet based off of my nutritionist so you will see the first like three days i was sticking to my 1600 calories or at least attempting to stick to the 1600 calories daily however on thursday it was confirmed with my nutritionist and my trainer that i should be eating closer to 1800 1950 calories a day i went a little bit over on thursday but i just wanted to share that if you haven't checked out my last video on all of my updates regarding my health and fitness journey i highly 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 suggest that you go over there because it has all the answers that you're looking for in regards to my health and fitness journey just a quick little disclaimer you know the drill i am not a nutritionist i am not a professional i actually sought the help of a professional and your girl is thriving, okay? I am not telling you that you need to be eating these exact meals and eating the same exact portions as I am. I am just showing you all of the foods that I am eating on my health and fitness journey that are helping me reach my goals as well as providing you with creative food inspiration. So if you come across something that you like, take it. If you come across something that you don't like, remix it and make it your own. Remember, I'm just trying to give you guys inspiration here. I'm not trying to tell you guys that you need to do everything the way that I'm doing. You need to use all the ingredients that I'm using. I'm just trying to show you what I'm using. This week was definitely a struggle for me. There were days that I under ate and there were just days that I didn't meet my protein goal, but that's the whole beauty of the journey. You live and you learn, you experience, and then you plan to do things better. I wanted to leave those moments in the video for you so that you can see it because realistically, a health and fitness journey is not always linear for me. Sometimes Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. I want you guys to see really truly what it looks like. It's not always so beautiful and aesthetic and you know, you're just getting it right. No, there are things that I get wrong. There are things that I struggle with. And I just wanna share that with you guys because one thing about your girl, she's always gonna be honest and transparent with you guys. Like I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. What you see is what you get. So I just wanna show you a very, very realistic what it looks like to eat in my life. All of my recipes will be linked down below as well as my grocery list. It'll be in a PDF document like the last time. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and give you a proper introduction and just explain some things how my diet is changing so now you know what to expect in the next one i'm going to be increasing from 1600 to closer to 18 to 1900 calories daily which is very scary to me and i shared this in my last video i'm really nervous to increase that amount i don't think i've eaten that many calories ever while counting my calories and macros so this should be very 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 interesting to see but yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into the video i hope you guys enjoy it and yeah i'll talk to you guys later so to kick off breakfast i'm preparing my batter using the kodiak power cakes pancake and waffle mix i added more protein powder just to boost my protein intake for the day but that's very much optional and then I prepare the batter as the box directed with one egg three quarters of a cup of almond milk and one tablespoon of olive oil and then of course adding cinnamon because that's my jam I mix it really really well and then used about one quarter of a cup scoop of batter per waffle when all of your batter is gone serve with your toppings of choice I used frozen blueberries and sugar-free pancake syrup and that's breakfast As a pre-gym snack, I'm having this Go Macro Bar in the Everlasting Joy Coconut Almond Butter and Chocolate Chip flavor. I won't lie, this was not my favorite. It has a weird kind of texture, but it did the job. I was full enough to go to the gym, and that's the pre-gym snack. So we look absolutely crazy right now, but I just got in from the gym and I just wanted to check in that I'm having an Owen Protein Shake. There's 20 grams of protein in the flavor dark chocolate. I'll have them linked down below. I'm gonna have this, hop in the shower, and then I'll be ready to have dinner because your girl is hungry okay she's starving leg day should have never taken me out like that but now i'm ready for a meal so i'm gonna go ahead have this and then i'll talk to you guys when it's time for dinner 
It's dinner time and I'm starving, so the goal is to get everything made in less than 20 minutes before I start snacking on everything that is not nailed down to the floor. I'm making a super quick side of kale and mushrooms. I started by cooking some garlic and red pepper flakes for a quick sec before adding my veggies. Season to your liking, I use salt, onion powder, and black pepper. In another skillet, I'm searing five and a half ounces of salmon that I've cleaned and dried. I've seasoned with salt, onion powder, black pepper, and paprika for color. Remember, if seasoning's not your thing, don't feel obligated, but y'all know your girl is about that seasoning life. To finish up the kale, I'm dressing with the juice of half a lemon and adding some chickpeas for additional protein. It's kind of a weird flex to me, but my nutritionist suggested it. It wasn't bad, but definitely not my first choice. Then just plate and enjoy. Okay guys, so it's time to have dinner. I just made this huge portion of kale, mushrooms, and some chickpeas. And then I also blackened some salmon. I borderline burned it, or rather burned the seasonings on the outside, but that's okay. I just topped it off with a little bit of lemon. And this is everything that I'm going to be eating for today. I'm not gonna have any snacks. I'm not gonna have any dessert because really I'm over 1500 calories, which is where I wanna be at. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner. And then I will talk to you guys tomorrow for breakfast. Good morning, besties. Let's get into some breakfast. So I'm making a new recipe today, which is definitely something out of my comfort zone, but I'm all about exploring and expanding my palate. So I'm making a veggie and tofu breakfast scramble using the most basic ingredients I could find in my fridge. To a pan, I'm gonna add mushrooms, red bell peppers, and spinach and saute until they're nice and soft. Season to your liking. I use garlic powder, onion powder, and chili flakes. Add the tofu to your pan and season with turmeric, salt, and pepper and stir well, continuing to break up any larger chunks of tofu and continue you cooking until everything's nice and warm. Keeping my coffee super simple, I used cold brew, sugar-free vanilla syrup, and almond milk. Listen, it's so simple, but it's super delicious. The combo is elite. Now just plate your scramble and garnish to your liking. I used the everything but the bagel seasoning and a little bit of hot sauce, and that's breakfast. Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. So we're getting into breakfast and I made this veggie tofu scramble with spinach, peppers, mushrooms, and then extra firm tofu. I am very, very interested to see how I'm gonna like this because as we know, I am not a vegetarian, but I wanted to take a more vegetarian approach today just to see. I also just topped it off with some hot sauce and a little bit of everything with the bagel seasoning. So this is what I'm having for breakfast. I also made my coffee. I wanted to make a latte this morning, but I realized that the Nespresso pods that I have are full cups of coffee or not the espresso shots. So I was like, uh, I guess we'll just do regular iced coffee today, which is completely fine. Maybe I'll just do a taste test because um, I don't know how I feel about this. Like it looks like eggs, but it's not eggs. And I think I supposed to put nutritional yeast in this, but oh well, it's fine. It literally has the texture of scrambled eggs. This is not new to a lot of people, but it literally has the same exact texture as scrambled eggs, but it doesn't really taste eggy. And there's like supposedly some salt that you're supposed to put in it that gives it like an eggy flavor. I ain't had that though. But this is actually really good. I'm very surprised. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my breakfast and then I'll talk to you guys when I'm ready to have my next meal. Okay guys, so I just got back from the gym and I am having my Owen protein shake, you know the drill. I'm also gonna pair it with the protein bar. I'm having the Robert Irvine Vines Fit Crunch Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough. There's 190 calories, 16 grams of protein, and three grams of sugar in it. So I'm gonna be having this as basically my post-workout slash lunch because I have something to do later on today. So I'm gonna shower really quick. And then when I get out of the shower, I'm gonna prepare my lunch slash dinner, um, but it'll most likely just be my dinner. But I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this now. And then I'll talk to you guys when I'm ready to make my next meal. <laughs> For dinner, I'm preparing a super quick chef-ish kind of salad. I'm assembling the salad using a base of spree mix and topping with some Kalamata olives, red onions, thinly sliced salami, and a ton of cucumbers. Then I'm going to mix it well and add three pepperoncini peppers on the side. Then this is the salad dressing that I'm going to be using. It is the Olive Garden light Italian dressing and I'm probably going to use about two servings of that and this is gonna be my dinner. Your girl is under her protein intake for the day, surprise, surprise. So for a little late night snack, I'm gonna have a protein coffee using one of my Owen protein shakes and some cold brew. I'm also gonna pair it with a protein yogurt. I'm just adding a little bit of cinnamon and topping with some frozen blueberries. 
Somebody in my comment section literally said, oh my God, she even seasons her yogurt. And when I tell you, I all but fell out on the floor cackling. You hear me? I was hollering because you know what? It's just cinnamon. And I don't really like the vanilla yogurt by itself. The cinnamon just makes it taste better to me. But please don't feel obligated to season your yogurt. It's Wednesday and I didn't make it for breakfast, so we're starting the day with lunch. I'm making a quick shrimp salad with veggies because I truly just don't have time for anything elaborate. I thawed, deveined, and removed the tails from eight ounces of shrimp. I seasoned with lime juice, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, cayenne, and paprika, and sauteed for two to three minutes per side over medium heat. To assemble my salad, I used a bed of spinach and added an assortment of veggies such as cucumbers, avocado, red onions, red bell peppers, and here go these chickpeas again. I don't really know how I feel about them, but if they're going to help me increase my protein, I'll learn to love them. I didn't use any salad dressing, just a little bit of lime juice because I didn't have time to make my own salad dressing, but that is today's lunch. Happy Thursday! We are getting into breakfast this morning and I'm using that same Kodiak Power Cakes pancake mix to make some protein pancakes today. I'm just assembling my batter as instructed by the box. I added one cup of pancake mix, three quarters of a cup of almond milk, and of course some cinnamon because a life without cinnamon is a sad, sad life. Mix well, I switch to a spatula to scrape down the sides and then I'm going to fry up my pancakes on a skillet and repeat until all of the batter has been used. We are not gonna talk about my flipping skills and the fact that I keep burning the center pancake. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna grab me up for that. Just let me be great. Now I'm just going to top my pancakes with some frozen mixed berries that I popped in the microwave, drizzling with two tablespoons of creamy peanut butter, and then following up with my favorite sugar-free pancake syrup, and this is breakfast. Good morning guys and happy Friday. I just want to apologize because yesterday was a very bad day of eating for me. I literally had one meal and that was it. I had so much work to do that I was stressed. I made myself basically sick to my stomach and I didn't eat for the rest of the day. And that's life sometimes, it happens. But today I'm just making sure and being intentional about getting food into my system. I just got back to the gym and I'm all out of my Owen protein shakes. I'm sick about it, but my new order is coming in soon. So I just made this portion of protein pancakes, topped it off with some sugar-free syrup, some peanut butter, and then frozen berries that I just warmed up. And then I'm definitely going to be intentional about having lunch and dinner today because I don't want to keep going how I've been going because I know that's how my binge behavior starts when I start, when my body starts to feel deprived. So there's that. I'm also going to go over 1600 calories today. And if you didn't see my last video that I posted on my channel, take a look at it because there have been some changes to my eating. So every day I was basically sticking to the 1600 100 calorie daily caloric intake, but my nutritionist and my trainer have reworked all of my macros and now I'm supposed to be eating between 1800 and 1950. So I'm gonna go a little bit over today and that's fine. I've been training really, really heavy. I'm feeling good, but I just wanna be more intentional about getting the food into my system. So this is breakfast. I'll talk to you guys when I'm ready for lunch. Wow, I'm actually checking in with my second meal of today. It's a little bit later for lunch, but that's okay. I am gonna have a third meal today. But So I'm having this taco salad. It has six ounces of chicken that I season lightly just with some regular low sodium taco seasoning, some red bell pepper, corn, black beans, red onions, avocados, a little bit of cheese, and then a lime wedge. I might actually put some taco sauce on top of this because I feel like it's about to be really dry, even with this little lime on top. So um, yeah, I might drizzle a little bit of taco sauce and I just use, hold on, let me show you the one I use. This is the taco sauce that I use, the Ortega, and it's in the medium. I really do like the hot one, but I think I might use like one or two servings of this just to put on top. And that is going to be my lunch. I cannot believe I'm actually having three full meals today. I am just 
truly impressed with myself. It's truly the little things. So for dinner, I'm making a super quick protein pasta with shrimp and grilled vegetable pesto. I'm quickly gonna season eight ounces of shrimp with cayenne pepper, onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix really well and set aside. Now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna add three ounces of bonza pasta in the penne shape to some lightly salted water and cook according to the directions on the box. In a separate skillet, I'm going to sear my shrimp for about two to three minutes on both sides since they're relatively small, it didn't take that long. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice for freshness. Once the shrimp and the pasta are done, I'm going to add a third of a cup of grilled vegetable pesto to my shrimp, add my pasta and mix thoroughly, and then plate it and that's it. Okay guys, so this is dinner and my final meal of the day. I just have some protein penne pasta with some shrimp and then my favorite grilled vegetable pesto. This is what I'm having for the night. I'm not gonna eat anything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for this entire video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops a new video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next.